It's time to drop the hammer. Good start for Denny down on the inside. The number 61 car races into the corners. We got one up and over. Red flag coming out. Holding them up. The NOS Energy starting can. We're underway. Denny, another great rip off the bottom down into turn number one and two is going to lead to charge big time at that end of the racetrack. A lot of company coming back behind. Hops giving a jump for Zach Dom. The Dominator now challenges for the number one spot. Meanwhile, back in the field, watch Buddy Kofoid. Kofoid last time worked the middle of the racetrack. The 67 car tries to poke his nose up in there. Got the door slammed in his face. He'll bump back into the number, well, let's call it five spot, at least for now. So hustle on through. Two and three wide battles through the field. Charges down into the corner, and Thomas Meserol starting to apply a little bit of pressure as he slides himself down into turn number three and four. So meanwhile, here comes the run at P3. So out. That was a close one there. Buddy Kofoy barely kept himself out of the side of that race car and gave up some real estate and quickly gets back to the whip again. There goes Kofoy. Bold move into traffic. Oh, my. Slipped down to the inside. Slides out to the outside for Buddy Kofoy. He is making big moves. In a number 67 car. Justin Grant watching on from back in fifth on the field. And here comes the running race lead out. Turn number two and down the back straight away. Jacob Denny was back here. Now Kofoy goes on to the point. That'll shuffle the 61 car back into P2. His buddy Kofoy is making some big strides. Boy, he came loaded for bear out here tonight. Jacob Denny still in the mix in that battle between second, third, fourth, and fifth. As they're all clustered together down into turn number three and four. As a caution flag comes out, two of them tangled up. Taylor Reimer involved down here. Way up high on the banking. Buddy Kofoy trying to grab some gravity, get him onto the front straightaway. As off we go. Charge coming out of Kyle Larson down the inside. Working on Justin Grant. He'll run her deep down into the corner. Grant carrying a lot of speed on the top shelf. Oh, and that 2J car. Hustles on to the back shoot. Larson's got company. We're finding something on the top side of the racetrack. Watch them now. She's going to get excited here real fast as there's a little taste of something. There goes the 2J car. Moves through the apex, picks off Kyle Larson, and takes a shot in the shorts. So he continues to rail the rim out of turn number four and onto the front straightaway. One of the lone cars not going to the inside of the racetrack, and it's working out very well for him. Because seconds in the hands of Justin Grant. And Grant just now crosses the stripe and now back by about 6.8 seconds. So he's closing on Kofoid with five, soon to be four laps to go. He does not have near the time he needs to run down that 67 car up front. He's kind of stealthed himself into line now. Works off the bottom of turn number three and four. Brings it across with two laps to go that time by the starter stand. Justin Grant just got kicked out to the wayside. That'll put the 86 car Kyle Larson up into P2. Grant back into third. Going to sweep the night tonight. Set quick time. And the Fatheads Eyewear qualifying. Picked up his heat race win, and he's looking to pick up the victory here. At Tri-City Speedway, checkered flag comes out. And that, my friends, is a done deal. Buddy Kofoid will be the winner. Tonight, he becomes the, again, most recent winner with the USAC Nosh Energy Drink National Midgets, Buddy Kofoid. Got out early, jumped there, started six. Quick time invert. And Buddy just made things happen right from the get-go. How did you navigate traffic so early to go from six to first in just the first few laps? I just, I, I owe it all to Jared and, and Tanner and Shane. They do a hell of a job. And, and uh, you know, I feel like this is one of our strongest nights that we've ever had. Probably in, now this is my third year of running USAC. You know, I think this is one of our best nights that we've ever had. So, uh, you know, I owe it all to those guys and Keith Coons Motorsports and Keith and Pete for believing in me and, Mobile One and Toyota for, uh, you know, always backing us and, and giving us everything we need to win. But, um, yeah, I just, our car is just so versatile right now. I can go really wherever I want. And, and you know, I, I remember from last year that it had a two, or two years ago, I guess, had a two, um, it can kind of get hairy and, and fall off. I can dime it down. That I can make more speed and kind of control, you know, my tire spin and just make the straightaway longer. So I was able to do that and then, um, you know, figured that the rubber had to be coming and, uh, moved down at the right time. I figured once I wasn't gaining on the lappers, that is probably time to move down. And, um, luckily, it was only five or six after the laps that I had to run down there. And obviously, the track kind of coming around to you, but all night long, clean sweep of the night. Would you say this is the top of your game? Yeah, no, I feel good. Um, you know, like I said, this is probably one of our best performances, um, I would say, in my three years of being at KK. And, you know, we just had a you know, a good night and everything just clicked together and, and Jarrett and I are working really well and um, I'm ready for midget week.
for the second time in 2022. Buddy Kofoid, your winner.